The Little League World Series has just come to an end with Florida defeating Chinese Taipei 2-1 to one in extra innings. But what's actually being talked about the most is the head coach addressing the team during extra innings saying that it has already been written in that the Lord determined that they would be championship winners. Now in today's video, we're actually going to dive into this clip even deeper and see exactly what the head coach told these young kids from ages 11 to 13 and how it has already been written by God that they would be champions. This is one of the first days that we got here, I came down here, a man prayed over me, okay? He saw my dad later, he said it's already been written. We're already the champs. The Lord put it in his book. We're just gonna finish the story right here, right now. Stay calm, stay composed, stay within yourself, but understand it's already been written. It's already ours. We just have to finish it here. We just have to play this in it. Understand? Yes, sir. Here we go. It's our summer. It's our game. We're going to come out on top. Are we ready? Yes, sir. Here we go. Go pay. All right. Clearly, we see here, guys, he's talking about how when he first arrived to Williamsport, Pennsylvania for this tournament, a gentleman came up to him, prayed over him, and said that it has already been written and that they would be Little League World Series champions. And sure enough, that's exactly how it laid out. Now, people are having different responses to this, and I understand why. You have one camp that is actually uh, frustrated with this coach, saying, hey, this is not something that you should be telling kids. Uh, you would have a lot to kind of answer for if this route didn't go the way it did. If you didn't win, what are you going to tell these kids? How do you address that? But then you have another camp that's saying, praise God, look at the Lord work. This is incredible. Millions of people watched this and heard this. And it's just a testimony to God. And so how should we respond to this? Well, I'll say this, guys. Um, I I've come from more of the charismatic world. And, and so I understand, and I don't know this coach personally, but I understand this type of language it is used often and a lot. And we do need to proceed with caution. What I have told the kids, hey, listen, it has been written that God said that we were going to win this Little League World Series championship? No, I, I personally wouldn't have. But this coach obviously had confidence in that. Now, he could have told his team this day one, but he decided not to, which is another thing to think about. If this was so true and this coach felt this, why didn't he say this on day one after he was prayed over? But instead, he waited till the championship game, till extra innings, when momentum has been shifted and changed to his team's direction. Yeah, it is also a testament to the Lord. It does bring praise and honor and glory to him. A lot of people are saying also that, does God really care about the League World Series? Doesn't he have other things to prioritize? Well, he is God. And he is all-knowing. He is omnipresent, omniscient. Guys, God cares about everything. God cares about the things that you think he doesn't care about. Little and big. God cares about war. He cares about sickness. He cares about poverty. He cares about all those things. And he even cares about the Little League World Series. He is God. He is not us. We may not think God cares about those things, we may not think that it's important for God to care about those things, but in fact it is. And he is God, and he's, he is able to put his attention on all things. Praise God for his work in this. And yeah, I mean, we can look at this and say, the Lord obviously and clearly did speak to this man who prayed over this coach. But me personally, I would have taken a more cautious approach. And maybe shared that with the coaches on day one, but then kept it to myself and said, we shall see. We shall see if this will come to pass. Real quick, guys, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the BT Team Ministry YouTube channel, as well as drop a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Maybe there's 
something somebody has prayed over you in your past that has come to pass. I would love to hear that. And if you enjoyed this video, you might like this one over here.